If there's one thing that I'm an expert on, it's learning how to sleep. I would say the top advantage that I had as a younger individual in my teens, 20s, and 30s was the fact that I could sleep almost anywhere and sleep very deep, very easy. And I'm gonna show you some key tricks on how to sleep better to recover better. So the biggest thing that I have found is that most good deep sleepers like cold rooms. What's a cold room? Between 65 and 67 in my opinion is when I sleep the best. You got to have the room colder. It brings the body down. It puts it into sleep. There is some research on this, but I find that 65 to 67 degrees is perfect for sleeping. The next thing for getting deeper sleep is remove all light. What does that mean? Blackout curtains. Get rid of all your electronics in your bedroom. Turn off your phone. Get rid of your Wi-Fi. Get rid of anything that glows, anything that has lights to it, anything. The darker it is, the better you'll sleep. You even have receptors in your skin for light to tell the body to wake up. So it's not just for your eyes, it's actually for your skin too. So what I found is that a lot of people that have really good naps and recovery, restorative naps, their rooms are insanely dark. The next big thing is naps. Almost everybody that I know that has been super strong takes naps when they can. How long should the nap be? Well, at my strongest, I was sleeping from about 1 to 3.30, which I think if I was to take back was probably a little bit too long. Now, there's good things to that. One, it's going to slow my metabolic rate down, and if I'm trying to gain weight and muscle, if I'm sleeping, I'm not burning as many calories, so I'm going to be able to put on more muscle tissue if I'm sleeping longer, at least in my opinion. But naps of 20, 30 minutes is a great way to reboot your central nervous system, get your power back up to 100%, because some people say if you go longer than that, then what can end up happening is you get more groggy. I never had that problem, but I do know people that do. So I would try to at least get 20 and 30 minute naps in two, three times a week if your goal is to be super strong. The next big thing is supplements. Well, we know that there's a lot of supplements like melatonin and all these other things that supposedly tell us to sleep better. The one that I can personally tell you that works really well for me is magnesium. And magnesium glycinate in of that nature. Um, now, we can get into supplements a little bit here and there, but if you get your supplements from Canada, they tend to be a little bit more pure due to their FDA regulations. So FDA regulations in Canada, they actually regulate their supplementation, where in America, they don't have to be regulated, which can make it a little bit quasi screwed up. But I find that taking magnesium at dinner and right before bed helps my body to relax and go into a deeper sleep, therefore getting more recovery. So don't take supplements completely out of the realm. Just make sure you're getting the right stuff. Last, but certainly not least, an optimal program will not affect your sleep. What does that mean? That means that I have hit this wall probably 20 times in my 30 year career. And what is it saying? It's saying that when I overtrain, my sleep starts to go backwards. So I'm gonna give you a little bit of a detail of what I'm saying. One, the first thing that happens when I start to overtrain is I start to lose my appetite. If I lose my appetite, I know that's phase one for me of training. The next is, it messes up my sleep. I start not being able to sleep as deep. I start waking up in the middle of the night. These are key indicators that I'm overtraining. And then if I don't listen past that point, I start to get sick, sinus infections, respiratory infections, all kinds of different stuff start to happen. So if you're overtraining, you're gonna start to see these problems exist. So this is my optimal tricks for, op for sleep, recovery, ability, and remember, it's not what you can do, it's what you can recover from. And in these particular points, if you're hitting all these nails on the head, your training is going to go to the next level.